Hi, this is Brendan Knight, Mattoon High School Tech Coach, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to run a Google Meet uh, for your classes using the ViewSonic Viewboard. Uh, the most effective way to run a Google Meet, I think, is from the Chromebox environment rather than the Viewboard environment. So I'm going to switch to the Chromebox by uh, tapping the HDMI 1 button down here. And that's going to open up my Chrome environment, and then I'm going to open uh, the Chrome browser. And I found that it's actually more effective to tap uh, using uh, the pen point and to drag using your finger. Uh, because a lot of times that otherwise it thinks I'm dragging when I'm trying to tap. So um, I'm going to open up Google Meet in this Chrome window. The easiest way to do that is to go to the waffle icon and choose Meet. And this will open uh, just like it would on my Chromebook. Um, and I'm going to open period five honors physics since I know nobody else will be in that since I don't have that class today. So uh, the webcam is up here. You can adjust that uh, up or down. It's got a couple of hinges that you can adjust uh, to get the look that you want. Uh, the one that made me look like I actually had hair would be a good one, but I don't think that I can do that adjustment here. Uh, so this is going to have to work. Um, it also has a microphone, and you can toggle those on and off by pressing the mic button or the camera button, just like you always can in Google, in, uh, Google Meet. I'm going to tap join now, and then my students would join the same way that they always do. Uh, so there I am. I'm going to, uh, since I have a huge screen here, it doesn't really make sense to uh, use the full screen window. So I'm going to tap up here and hold where the uh, full screen icon is. I'm going to drag over to the left arrow that shows up, and that will fill in the left half of the screen with this Google Meet window. And that way, if I'm wanting to show students uh, what else is on my screen, if I want to present to them, I can put the window I'm presenting on the right-hand side, and I can see them and uh, what I'm presenting at the same time. So, for example, um, I can add a new tab here. And so you might use um, Jamboard. You might use a Google Slides presentation, whatever, uh, whatever it is. Um, you can present it here. I'm going to go to Jamboard, I think. Actually, let's go to the waffle. And we'll open Jamboard just to demonstrate how that might work. Uh, so now I'm going to tap this tab and just drag it over here till it becomes a window and lock it right next to uh, the other window. So now I've got this in split screen. I can even adjust my camera a little if I want my students to be able to see me when I'm over here. And then I can open up uh, whatever jam I want here. Once that's open, I need to present that uh, tab from Google Meet. So I'm going to present, uh, I'm going to go ahead and present this whole window in case I open up other stuff in this window. So I tap that, I tap share, and I wait for the presentation to start. And now, um, I can see my students, if there were any students logged in here, I would see them uh, in this window like I always do in Google Meet when I'm presenting. And they will see me as well as what they'll see on most of their screen is whatever I'm presenting here. I can draw, I can do whatever I normally do in Jamboard. Um, I can use whatever other tools I want. So maybe I have a slideshow I wanna show them, maybe I have a video in YouTube, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, also, don't forget you can use your My View Board whiteboards here as well. So I'm going to tap on my view board extension and I'm going to go to my home screen and I'm going to close my view board extension because I'm done with it and I don't want it in my way. So once my home opens up, I can open uh, any of these apps uh, in my account, but I'm going to open the whiteboard app. So this is another way, uh, this is another way that I could uh, draw, write, um, et cetera. Um, now, one problem that I ran into with this the first time I did it, um, it thinks I need to rotate the device. It took me a while to figure out that that means that my window is too narrow because it's, uh, it thinks we're in portrait mode instead of landscape on a tablet. Uh, so in order to use this, I'm gonna have to resize that window slightly. 
which is a lot easier if you have a mouse. If you don't have a mouse, then you would probably have to uh, be pretty precise hitting the edge of that window when you tap and hold. It doesn't take much, just resizing it that much um, allows you to use uh, the whiteboard app. So I can uh, do all the things that I would normally do with the whiteboard. If I have one that I want to open, I can do that. I can present it. Um, and basically any other app that I wanted to use uh, to present to my students, I could open in this window and present, and I can still see them as I'm presenting, which is nice. So that's a brief overview of how I think the most effective way of using Google Meet with the Viewboard uh, would work. If you have any questions, please let me know.